Day eight I'm on the island. So we got 20 days left out of the day. Only 20. And uh, got up, made some coffee. Cheers to everyone with some good coffee. Head over there. Drop Joe off here after a while. I'm gonna grab some ice and some night crawlers. I'm gonna get in the van and get me some ramen too. I keep forgetting to bring that ramen over here. That'd be super simple for dinner time. Just don't even have to heat it up. Throw it in some water, let it rehydrate, good to go. But uh anyway, I guess that'll do it. And uh, be back after a while. Hope everyone's having a good morning. And uh see you later. All right, everyone. Made the paddle over here. Can take along with two people, only like 35 minutes. But yeah, I was kind of feeling like a diva about having to paddle all the way back to the island. So I got me a stickers. I'll eat that on the way, and I'll be all right. <laughs> all right. Guess I'll do it. I ain't gonna hold everybody. I'll post this here after a while when I can get back to the island. Everyone's having a uh, Good afternoon. See ya. All right, everyone. Just getting back from uh, dropping off Joe. I don't know. Let me see if I can even figure out what time it is. Yeah, it's one o'clock. So hey, that's not too shabby. I left over yonder at uh, twelve twelve. Went over there and picked me up some uh, fuel for my alcohol stove. 10 gallons of water, my snake chaps, or uh, snake gators, not chaps, and uh, let's see, one large bag of ice, and four small bags of ice, and uh, it's got to launch up here on the bank a little bit, yeehaw, we have made landfall, and uh, that paddle down. So you're gonna talk to you for just a minute. I'm gonna turn it around. I uh, got to excuse the wop of wa uh, wobbliness, I guess you would say. <laughs> I don't think I'm saying that quite right. And hope, hopefully y'all can see me. Let me spread this one leg out. That might make it a little bit better, but uh, yeah, it was not a bad paddle at all. Compared to, uh, First day I got here, my arms are fine, and I had a headwind wind blowing me right in the face for most of the time on the way back over here. Oh, positive to note, today is shower day. I'm looking forward to that. Once again, Rob is one stinky dude today. And uh, I guess that about do it for now. I'm going to step out of this canoe into the water and uh, start carrying some stuff up the camp. And I will uh, catch everyone after a while. All right. I'm going to flip it back around. Ugh. Try to do it nice and slow. All right, everyone. Bye. All right, everyone. How's it going? Uh, just got back from... Uh, Traveling Joe over yonder. Not a bad paddle at all. I can uh, I can definitely deal with that. Uh, compared to the first day when I paddled over here, by the time I got here, and the next day I had to go back and get a whole bunch of stuff and then paddle all the way back over here again. And I, I was wore out. But today, I don't feel that way. I feel just fine. My arms just wasn't used to all that jazz. So, let's see, got me, uh, whenever I got my, my snake gators and put them, you know, on whenever I go up here firewood hunting, don't have to worry about, you know, snakes anymore. So, just still got to watch where you reach when you, you know, go to pick up a piece of firewood or something. But, got the snake gators, got me 10 gallons of water, uh, got me some more night crawlers. Oh, and I got, a, got another fish basket out of the back of the van. So, there ain't no bluegills gonna escape out of that when I was talking to Billy over there at the shot, uh, bait shop and he said might have been an otter got in there. He said, yeah, otters come up there on the docks and get in their tanks that they, uh, you know, some guys will store some crappie in there or 
something like that, and otters get in there and eat every single fish. It's gone. Yeah. Come down there the next day, and there's bones and scales and crap all over the place with otters just out of a field day. But that's what's going on today. Uh, get done with this uh, video here. I'm gonna run the sun shower down there and fill it up, set turn the rocks, let it get uh, good and warm. So. So this old stinky guy here can have him a nice shower tonight and uh, i'm gonna try to about a couple hours before dark i'm gonna go down here to cove i'm gonna go bluegill fishing we'll see how that goes this time maybe some of them fish that got away if an otter didn't get them maybe i'll i'll get them back in the basket here i go down here and just catch me five bluegills a day that's uh that's 10 fillets that's enough for uh, two nice bluegill sandwiches or shell crackers or or whatever it is i catch i'm gonna catch some small enough catfish and i figure about maybe about this long or something about 12 13 inches you know little fillers they call them i eat them It'd be a pain in the butt to clean but i'm gonna try to do it the new wave way you know you just fillet them out first and then kind of de-skin them after you after you got them flayed out but other than that i Guess that's enough yabber and all. I already got the uh, solar generator plugged up for the day. It's down there collecting sun. And oh, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't show you all my snake chaps. I know I talked about them, but here they are. Go on the bottom, you know, around your calves, and this little part right here it extends out over the top of your shoe. So really, the only your toe section of your shoe is sticking out that way. You know, if a rattler. Or a copperhead up there gets frisky with you, you know, and wants to sink his fangs in you. He'd just be wasting his time. All right, and that is all. Hope everyone is having a good afternoon. And uh, I'll catch everybody after a while. Bye.